Good morning guys, it is Monday morning, it's around 8 o'clock, I woke up with some eye issues, <laughs> um, they're very very dry at the moment, uh, so I've been having issues uh, not clearly seeing stuff. Funny thing, it's easier to see the embroidery than it is to see screens. So instead of sitting down and doing the blog post as I should, I am going to sit down and do some cross stitching and just rest. So um, hopefully my eyes will kind of get back to themselves soon enough and I can continue doing the, the crafting and stuff. But uh, right now I'm just going to get a cup of coffee and I'm going to um, do some more stitches. By the way, uh, if you were wondering, I am stitched about 130 stitches when I was away. Uh, most of it was because uh, I didn't really have time to stitch because I didn't take the cross stitch with me to Christopher's parents. Um, and so the only kind of stitchy time I had was at the evening in the hotel room. And we go home and then we went to bed every day. So the only day I really stitched was the day we landed because then Christopher went away and worked with his parents and I stayed at the hotel because I was so exhausted. Um, so yeah, so around 130 stitches and then I got another 100 and so stitches yesterday. So today I'm hoping to get a little bit more done though. A little bit more. I'm going to sit down listening to some YouTube slash watching, mostly listen, and uh, do some stitching. But good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. So, guys, it's 11 now. Uh, I've uh, been working on. Uh, I've gotten about 400 stitches done today. So that's uh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, way to go. Um, but I'm also doing housekeeping. I'm doing our laundry uh, and I'm, we're doing kind of all of the laundry that needs to be done for next week when we travel. So that is kind of the main focus right now is to get all of those things done. Um, I got uh, two laundries already done this morning uh, and the last one is in the dryer. That is what you can hear in the background. Um, and yeah that it's going really really well um i'm not going to do the folding because christopher is going to pick out the clothes that he wants to take with him um we do a lot of, of clothes shopping in the us so we usually take with us um clothes that we no longer that, that are at the end of their life cycle uh, we got a whole bunch of clothes uh, when we were in Gran Canaria. Uh, there was one of these, um, I think it's like affordable clothing store, uh, Primark, that's the name of it, it's called Primark. We don't have it in Sweden, uh, but I know that you can get it in the UK and, and, and so on. But it's got, it's got affordable clothing. However, all the clothing that we got from Primark has already like less than a year in uh lost its shape started peeling like crazy like after the first wash they weren't really they weren't in any shape and form the way they were when we got them and we we clean our clothes uh to the temperature of what's said in the packaging so um yeah we're kind of disappointed in the primark clothes this was our first shopping spree there and quite quite uh, the only thing I have left that I wear on a day to day basis are these uh, kind of cotton nylon uh, long sleeve t-shirts and that's mainly because it's super hard to find cotton long sleeve t-shirts anywhere I don't know I don't know why but it is um, and I don't show my arms because I have skin issues <laughs> I also have issues with showing my body, so yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, he's gonna pick out all the clothes that are on its la last leg uh, that he will be wearing at the beginning of our trip and then we will get rid of them uh, and fill up our bags with new clothes instead. So that is a way to, for us to save space uh, in our 
in our bags. So yeah, that that is uh, what is going on today. Uh, I think I'm gonna sit down by the computer soon-ish. However, I still have a hard time seeing. So mm, yeah, can't really do anything about that. All right, that's just that's just how it is. I'm on my second cup of coffee, um, and yeah, life is life is good. The weather today is really grey and gloomy and raining. So I decided to look up the weather today in Florida. Because why not? Why not? One thing I realised though is that I read the uh, app wrong. I looked, we looked at October. No, we looked at Orlando and we did that. Uh, it was like a week ago. Uh, Christopher was home, like Tuesday last week probably. And we checked the weather, and it was actually pretty cool in Orlando. Um, I heard that uh, across the US, it was really cool at Thanksgiving. I was like somewhere between six and negative 12 and negative six degrees that day in Sweden. So it was really, really cold here too. And I think it was uh, a positive Celsius degrees of 12 or 15 degrees in Orlando. And like it's super cold super cold and then i looked at the kind of part just underneath it and somehow i got it in my head that that was the upcoming week of the temperatures it's the hourly temperatures in orlando but no i i thought that was the upcoming weeks so i'm like okay so it's gonna be around 12 degrees between 12 and 15 degrees almost every day in Orlando. This is not, uh, this is not going to be fun. Uh, but when I looked at it today, it's like on Wednesday next week, when we're there, it's going to be 24 degrees outside uh, in Fort Myers where we are staying first. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Warm, nice weather. It is four degrees here, raining grey and boring. I'm still just doing cross stitching because yeah rough day. Um, trying to pour myself some water because I think I'm dehydrated from the flights and I think that is like there's always like a multitude of reasons why I'm feeling like I'm feeling. It's never just one thing and you can fix it and that is annoying but you have to live with it. So I'm stitching, I'm watching YouTube, mostly um, kind of Disney vlogs. It has been my kind of big um, drug of choice for the past month, I think. I've been watching more and more and more Disney vlogs. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a super lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue doing that, drinking my next cup of coffee and just stitch having a nice time, having my little candle burning over there, smells delicious um, and then we can do some cool uh, food making this evening. So guys, I'm going to cook dinner with you, uh, so I'm going to show you how to do Swedish bolognese, always also called ground meat sauce. And I'm gonna go through all the uh, ingredients and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, a little note, we have rice with our Swedish bolognese because um, I don't eat pasta, but usually people have uh, pasta for it. Then you heat up some oil. This is just um, rapeseed and sunflower oil into a pan. I've gotten our biggest pan out to be able to use all of the ingredients. Then I'm putting in some uh, onions. These are just ordinary uh, small yellow onions that we chopped and then uh, we frozen them so that we always have chopped onions in our to our food. This is garlic, also chopped. I'll put some more onions in there um, and also frozen. Fry the onions and the garlic together until it's they gotten a little bit see-through. I'm gonna put it in the bowl uh, for 
me to fry the ground meat. For the ground meat, I'm using beef, and um, using beef, which is, um, I think, think this is 10%, 12% fat, um, just beef, uh, no, no pork in this. to my pot. Just mix those up. Also gonna add some salt. And some pepper. Then I'm adding um, some crushed tomatoes. which will be about uh, 800 grams. Also adding some chili sauce. A smidgen of barbecue sauce. Some ketchup. Then we have some basil. Oh, quite a lot of basil. Oregano. Or again, quite too much. And then we're just gonna mix all of this into the pot again. And then I just put the degree down to a lower so it just simmers and um, letting it stay like this until the rice is cooked in the rice cooker over there and yeah that is my swedish bolognese recipe and how i do it and this is the finished dish uh, you could add uh, um, like bas some ba basil leaves or tomatoes or something but this is how we eat it rice uh, some of the sauce and cheese and then it's done well it's me from the day after or yeah from the future when it comes to the video yeah this is strange I just wanted to uh, say good night I um, was very tired yesterday and we sat down I did some cross stitching watched TV series and then we fixed my hair and then just headed to bed. So kind of forgot to say goodnight to the vlog. So good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>